Now, here we go for another review. This time, I'm going to take a look at one of the beers that was in that Vermont Tasters Pack from Otter Creek Brewery. Uh, Otter Creek Brewery, honestly, before this weekend, I never heard of them. But uh, they're from Microbrew from Middlebury, Vermont. This is one of their finer beers, apparently. Uh, uh, winter seasonal that they introduced last fall after a successful tasting of this type of beer in the last summer. It instantly became a favorite. This is actually a type of beer that I had, wasn't aware of, uh, <laughs> wasn't very aware of anyway beforehand. It is a, an Alpine Black IPA. To those that don't know, a Black IPA is kind of a hybrid between a stout and an IPA. So, while it's similar to an India Pale Ale, it's not pale. <laughs> Maybe you could call it ISA or something like that. <laughs> but Black IPA works fine for me. Um, it is a malt-heavy version of an IPA beer. And an IPA beer is like a, a very hop-heavy or India Pale Ale. And I'm not talking to the Keith's India Pale Ale either. Which has next to no hop taste at all. Uh, but that's not something you should fault against it, and that's a different discussion. This is uh, this is Otter Creek's Black IPA. So let's take a look at the bottle. It's kind of a nice label. Um, pretty much all the Otter Creek labels are the same. Uh, got that, that winter Vermont theme. This is a rich and delicious, delicious Black India Pale Ale, featuring a pronounced hop aroma, followed by a darkly roasted malts topped with a mocha head. Yeah. Uh, it says, located in historic Middlebury, Vermont, Otter Creek Brewing is the proud brewer of the finest quality handcrafted ale since 1991. Hmm. See if that's true. Crack it open. It's got their Otter Creek Brewing logo on the on the cap of the bottle. Let's give it a pour. As you can see right now, it's coming out pretty dark. So we got a, quite a decent head on that thing. Look at that. Put a finger and a half, almost two fingers of, of like a dark, like a cream tan head. I don't know if you can see that. Looks nice. Um, appearances, it looks like a... Um, I could have a carbonation in the beer itself, but it shines like a amber orange through the through the, the, the beer itself um, but you have to basically hold up a light to it in order to really see through it it is somewhat clear maybe not so much in the top but it's uh, it's clear enough um, otherwise it's a very 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 dark beer yeah looks good and that head is sticking around look at that it's taking on a pillowy appearance the bubbles are uh, medium fine I wouldn't call them fine, they're small, a tad bit bigger than that. But it's certainly looking like it's a head that's going to stick around for a while. And look at that. It's probably going to leave some nice lacing. Yeah. Certainly looks nice. Cool. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh. <laughs> it comes off as like a floral hop with a floral pine hop. Careful, careful to swirl this around, not get it on the floor. That head is, head is puffy. Mmm, that smells nice. It's like a floral orient, like a floral citrusy pine kind of hop. Predominantly pine. But you can definitely pick up some nice floral notes. It's like smelling flowers. Oh, that really smells good. Mm. Ooh, actually in the back there you can pick up some... Right in the back of the smell you can pick up some roasted roastiness from the malts. Ooh, man. That's decent. That's got a nice smell to it. I want to dive right into this thing. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. It's 
Spit her in the roof of the mouth. It's leaving a little bit of uh, an orangey, citrusy aftertaste. Finish is very dry. Taste wise, it's predominantly like, uh, get, like a, the smell carries on to the, the taste. It's got a citrusy pine kind of hop taste. The malts are somewhat apparent in the back. The uh, they're not quite as predominant in this as the hops are. Not that I complain. Oh, when I expect to get an IPA, I'm expecting getting a like a, a bitter kind of beer with some citrusy taste, and it's certainly here. Yeah, and the uh, the maltiness in the back really gives it kind of a unique quality. That's one nice beer. Yeah, that's good. That's fantastic. That's that's great. I like that. Yeah, I think if you're a hophead, you'd really owe it to yourself to try this. Track this down. Or any, I guess the, yeah, any black IPA style, I'm <laughs> considering they're pretty well new. Um, I think it's a, a style that only really came out in the in the 90s. Maybe, I might have that wrong. Just as a, an experiment, but that really turns out well. Oh, that's good. It's bitter. I read the thing on their website that said it's around 60 IBUs. I don't know if it's quite that bitter. But yeah, that's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna I am gonna have no issue finishing that off. Um, I'd say certainly if you're uh, passing through the states and you got time to pick up some beer, pick up some Otter Creek. Um, this is a winter seasonal, so keep in mind it's not available right now. I only got this one because it, <laughs> the the grocery store that I stopped at <laughs> had some old boxes. Um, so yeah, I mean it certainly for for being in the store that long it lasted well and it tastes great. I'm gonna give this. I'm going to give it a high 4.0 for an A-. It's it's fantastic. But I don't know much about the st enough about the style to really give it a excellent rating. So I'm going to give it my marks because I enjoyed it. I really enjoy this beer. I would recommend it if you can pick it up. Cool. So a high 4.0. Peace.